Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So this is, this will be my first video of 2017. Um, today it is January 2nd, Monday. I've kind of been hesitant to posting this video, which I've taken over the course of December 31st to today, January 2nd. I'll probably upload it by the end of this day or tomorrow. Just because I feel like the topics I want to discuss are very personal to myself. But I also want to share it with you. Maybe you can get some insight from what I'm trying to say. Um, so I've always been a firm believer in not really believing in New Year's resolutions. Because I feel like if you have a goal set in mind that you should start it when that idea hits your mind. I don't think that you know people need to wait a new year to start their goals that they have. I think they should start it when they feel it and when it comes to them. So I've never really been into the whole New Year's resolutions thing. Although I do take an end of the year reflection and then I kind of use the new year as a motivation, I guess. So I guess they do kind of play into New Year's resolution a little bit, but at the same time, I'm like, if I have a goal that I have in my mind, I'm gonna start it then. And 2017 is just going to be an improvement of that. Like the start of 2017 is going to improve upon that goal that I've had in mind that I've started whenever the day I started it. Such as like veganism, you know? Like I started it in October of 2015. And like 2016 years, like, okay, I'm just going to get better. Like eventually I want to go raw vegan, you know, things like that. So you just improve upon those type of ideas. So I guess what I want to discuss is just, ugh, there's something. Um, my New Year's resolutions for 2017 or my goals that I have in mind, what I want the year to be projected as. And then I think this video will be kind of fun to look back upon and think like, did I hit it? Did I do those things? So already I feel like I started my goals. So one of my goals of 2017 was to travel more and not really think about money or funds of doing it. Um, I have saved a lot since I graduated and, and you know, I, I'm going to be honest, I'm not a good spender. Um, I, I spend my money on things that I want. Like if I want it, I don't think about it. I just get it, which is not good. I do save but not as much as I know I could be. So like each paycheck, I try to save some aside, but I spend a lot of my own money, which that's what I wanna get better at. But what I told myself that I'm willing to do this year is to, if I wanna travel, I'm gonna do it. Like that's what I have a lump saved for, is just traveling. So earlier this, later this year, 2016 in like, what was, what's the month? November, I think? Um, I told myself that I, for my 25th birthday, which is in March, I wanted to go to Hawaii. I wasn't going to tell anybody. I just wanted to plan a trip and just go. My cousin lives in Hawaii, so I, I mean, I obviously had to ask her so if I could stay with her, but I was just going to, I'm going to buy the ticket. Whoever wants to join me can join me. So I actually asked my brother if he wanted to go and he said, yeah, so we're going to Hawaii and I planned that trip. And I'm super excited just because I feel like it's like the first, I made that goal in my mind and I acted upon it. I did it. So that's another thing. Um, I'm also going to Santa Cruz at the end of this month. And where else am I going to travel to? I want to go on a cruise this summer. Another thing is to post more YouTube videos. I took a look back at the videos that I feel like I get the most views on and it's either singing or just talking videos like this. Maybe not so much vlogs, but just talking about my personal life, which is interesting to me, but whatever. Um, so that's kind of what I want to focus on more this year versus like beauty stuff, although I will do makeup because makeup is one of my biggest hobbies. Um, so making YouTube videos with makeup is a hobby mostly, but I guess I want to kind of gear it more towards singing because that's what I'm like really serious about versus makeup is just a hobby that I like to do. And plus there's so many beauty gurus, makeup people online that it's kind of like, come on now, you know? So you need to go viral with a makeup video if you really want to do that or like think outside the box, which is totally possible. You can do it. Do you boo? Okay. So improve upon my YouTube channel, go travel when I want to save money. I want to try to save 
10k by the end of this year, 5k, 10k, some sort of k. So my brother asked me while I was on a ski trip in Brian Head, he said, if you, from this day, if you were to look forward a year and see yourself, where would you see yourself? I love when my brother asks me questions because he always gets me thinking like really deeply. He's a very great personal growth advocate and knowledgeable about those kinds of things. Um, and he always asks the right questions to get you thinking about your future. So I told him that um, I'll have a boyfriend because I don't know, I'm just like open to loving and I haven't loved someone. Um, I don't want to get into that. <laughs> but I just, yeah, whatever. Um, that's what I said. I, I'll have a boyfriend. Um, I'll be my goal weight, which I don't want to share yet because um, fitness is like a very personal journey for me. And although I share it a lot on my social media, like my goals are very like personal that I really only share with my family and my brother especially. Um, but part of that fitness goal that I will share is that I really want to do my very first powerlifting competition, which um, I have someone who's like open to coaching me, so that'll be exciting. Um, that's just kind of like on the back of my mind, front of my mind actually, that I do want to compete. But, um, that is another goal. Um, I said travel wherever I want to, which I'm making happen. So, I love the job I have right now, but with the hours I get from it, I can definitely hold another job. I said something in radio. Um, yeah, those are my goals for the whole year, basically, which is very doable, I think. My brother also asked me, um, if you could give five fitness tips to someone who's just learning about fitness, what would it be? I said, one, don't really look at the number on the scale because how you feel internally may not match the number that you're like looking for and it's totally okay to do that. Um, I said, eat right and exercise. I also said that know that it's not going to come right away, but that fitness is a journey. And as long as you tell yourself that you can achieve those goals um, within a year or, you know, just basically not right away, that you'll be more apt to getting things done. Because if you think that fitness is just going to come at like the snap of a finger, it's not. It's like a lot of hard work. Um, since I graduated in 2015, I'm down 16, it fluctuates from like 18 to 15 pounds, um, which is a lot, but I know that I could do a lot better, so I want to like focus more on that. Um, I also said know your body and know that there's other exercises that you can do, such as like Zumba, dancing, volleyball, whatever you're like into. Um, I like to power lift, do some calisthenics and bodybuilding type exercises. I also do cardio sometimes with my mom. I do Zumba, but that's not all the time. Um, so I said kind of just like know the exercises that you want and act upon it. I also want to stay more organized this year. Just like I feel like this video is all over the place. But I want to stay more organized and on top of my goals and activities. I also want to be more present, so kind of staying off my phone, which I feel like... Here's the thing about social media with me. Is that a lot of times I want to stay off of it. But at the same time, I'm like... Social media is a advertising platform nowadays. I go on social media to advertise... For example, like I really want to get into my YouTube channel. So, you know, I have to do, I have, I feel like I have to be on social media to constantly update my, update and say like, go oh, check out my video, whatever, things like that. So it's kind of like a 50-50 situation for me, although I have gone on, um, you know, like uh, social media cleanses, which I feel like I will do more in 2017. It's just kind of like, I'm in the middle, I'm conflicted with like, should I do it or not? Because how do I, how am I going to advertise my YouTube videos 
people aren't all subscribed, so, you know, there's just a lot of thinking like that. God, I hope this video's not boring. I went ahead and did my makeup off screen, the rest of my makeup off screen, because I didn't want this video to get too long and too rambly or like make me feel like I had to talk the whole time, because it takes me a while to do my makeup now. But I guess the whole point of this video is once you have your goals set in mind, make actions upon it. Because like you've heard so many times before, I'm sure, is that actions speak louder than words. So if you have a goal in your mind, take the affirmative steps, write it down, take the steps and figure out how you can get to your goal. So I think that in this age, you know, a lot of people say like the 20s are your selfish years. Well, I think that it's a lot of self-finding and personal growth that's one of my sororities uh, values and it's probably one of my favorites is personal growth because you can always improve upon yourself know where you are and love yourself 100 percent before anything and make sure that what you want to do in life is aligning with your values and your morals and what you want to do in life is going to get you to your ultimate dream my ultimate dream is to be on tv and have my own show so you know what can i do to get there I can keep doing what I'm doing and build upon my practice, take on extracurricular activities to get there. You know, that's my ultimate dream, so I'm going to take steps. So, you, you know, you have to make sure to write it down so that you don't get lost in what you're doing. And also know that it's not going to be an easy road. So if you do get discouraged, know that, you know, God always has a plan for you and that you can work through anything. You can always overcome any obstacle given to you with the right resources with you know the right mindset so just always think positively and you can progress from there um, I keep saying that 2017 is going to be my year part of it is because 17 is my favorite number and I told myself that when I turned 17 you know however many years ago that was not that long I'm not that old but um, the age 17 was going to be my year because that's my favorite number well I loved my junior year of high school is one of the most fun times ever so I think that subconsciously in my head 2017 is going to be my a really good year because that's my favorite number so I kind of just have in the back of my mind that it's gonna be my year um, as long as you have your goals set you can do anything. It's all possible. I kind of hope this isn't too rambly in the beginning, but it might be. You know what? But I was just kind of spewing out my goals and my things for 2017. Um, but hopefully you'll see a lot of me in 2017 on YouTube. I'm really, really, like, my goal is to get 300 subscribers. I'm at, like, 154 right now, which is definitely doable. But I, you know, want to make those baby steps short-term goal. It would be awesome to get 500 or 1,000. But for right now, 300 is my goal. And I know we can make it happen. So thanks for supporting me, those of you who do watch my videos. Um, it's really humbling and great when I have like family members that I don't talk to often um, tell me they watch my videos or that's how they keep up so it's really nice and I love all the support so thank you for um, helping me grow in 2016 and I can't I can't wait to see what 2017 brings for the Kelsey crew is that a thing now am I making that a thing I don't know but um, yeah thank you guys so much and 2017 is going to be awesome. It's going to be a great year. And I believe in you. So yeah. Um, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.